boom, done. Oh, wish that could happen like that all the time. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Aging Gracefully here. This is a get ready with me today. We're going to chit chat about uh, makeup and what I'm currently wearing, fall, decorating, what's been going on in my life, a couple of cute little stories I want to share with you. And please know that this was all filmed before Hurricane Sally. It did cause a disruption. Um, for at least a good week. No electricity. I couldn't get it out, but we're all safe and fine. Thank God. So let's have some fun. Good morning, everyone. Well, I am just out of the shower, and what I thought I would do is uh, do a little get ready with me and a chit chat. Uh, so I know I've uh, been sharing with you what I've been using lately, but I thought, well, I'll just fresh out of the shower I'll go ahead and do that so I'm gonna chat with you and I'm gonna get ready and if I start to get distracted and I'm not chatting I will uh, fill in So today I've already washed and moisturized my face and I'm gonna use a primer and this is the hourglass so um, so I just thought I would chit chat with you and just kind of share with you a little bit of what I've been doing and what's going on around the house. Um, I've been slowly starting to um, just clean as I go and uh, polish everything and get everything nice and dusted. And then this year I decided I was going to not bring all my um, decorative fall bins inside the house. I usually bring them all in and stack them up. I would just bring them in one at a time. Oh, you guys, I have my favorite fall cup out too. And by the way, I'm drinking some pumpkin spice coffee. So I'm just really ready for fall. Oh yeah, for sure, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. It's so hot. It's so hot here. The humidity is crazy. It's only like in the 80s. Like, maybe 80, it was 87 or 80 because it's day, but that felt like it's 100. The day before it said that, felt like it was 101 because the humidity is just... Well, I think it's going to come too because it's going to have a cold front. You know, that means our high will be like 80 or 81. But the nice thing is it'll cool down at night. It'll start going into the 60s, which... Oh, thumbs up for that. So I just kind of let the primer sit on my face for a little bit. And now I have my little makeup bag here. I am going to put on some under eye corrector because I do have um, some puffiness and some dark circles there and this is something that came in FabFitFun one of those boxes no more baggage so I have it and I'm just using it I just kind of pat it on and I give it a few seconds to just dry in my little makeup bag I have my NARS creamy concealer stick and I just kind of go here and if you guys don't mind I'm also going to look in my over projected mirror here. I like to gently tap in my under eye concealer with the Tati Velvet Heart Sponge. Next and this is my favorite and this is what I'm going to do next. Uh, this is my NARS Creme Brulee Concealer. I love this. I have a new one on the way and I use this uh, Zova brush it's number 110 uh, this is a great brush and what I do is I go into the areas that I have discoloring which is usually on the sides here and then I just try to cover up some of those little dark spots I pretend sometimes and say freckles ha ah something guys and that's because I took it out of my bag and then I forgot to put it back in um, poor professional I love this stuff and I really have large pores in this area and so I really do even with the primer um, this really helps just kind of um, smooth out my skin and it allows if I'm wearing makeup or foundation or powder not to you know kind of sink in so I've been just decorating around the house um, I have to do my back porch yet but I'm like oh can't even bear it right now because it is just so hot out there that 
And now I'm just blending in, and this is concealer. Going out for uh, a few errands that I have to hurry quickly run, but I have to, you know, go out with my mask on. And um, so my daughter-in-law uh, gave me a little sample of the Max, I think the Studio Fix, and this is in the number one. And she told me to apply it with my um, fingers. She says this is really nice because it's not been transferring or leaving marks on her skin from the mask. And uh, so I'm trying it. And, you know, I've used it a couple of times and I like it. Um, it feels like a um, powder foundation almost once you blend it in. And she just told me to use my fingers. So what I do is I just kind of rub it all over. And then... Um, I'll just smooth it out with my brush. But I've been finding that I've been having good luck with my mask as long as I put on a makeup setting spray, um, which I like to do anyways in the winter and summer because my makeup is just runs. I have such oily skin. This is nice stuff. It feels good and it is buildable. Um, it gives you a nice smooth finish and it feels kind of tacky. A little bit so I just let it sit and that's all I'm gonna do is just kind of rub that in and then I'll just smooth some of the areas out with my concealer brush here I am out of my hourglass eye pencil which totally makes me so sad I mean there is just nothing in there so I have ordered Two more pencils because I do go through them like crazy. So I'm back to my Anastasia Brow Wiz in um, granite. I'll just clean it up. And don't forget guys, Q-tips are your best friend when you're doing little things like this because it really gets in there. Oh, here. I already took one out. Couldn't find it. Um, so I've been decorating a little bit. And once I get the porch area done, I will, um, I'll share a video. Sorry for the mirror, it's in the way, but I'm just um, finishing my brows with some gentle light strokes. Okay, so the granite's a little bit darker than I've been wearing um, with the hourglass, but if you brush, you see it just kind of lightens it up. Um, the other thing that uh, I have been doing, um, besides my, you know, normal when I can get a minute, it's, you know, I just want to say this. If you're a caregiver full-time and you're taking care of someone else, even, let's just say you're a mom, you're staying at home, you have children and you're caregiving with your kids all day long and you're running your household and you know it to me it's like the greatest job in the whole world it's very rewarding nobody can do it as well as you can do it and everybody's uh, style is different but to me it's just it's wonderful when you become a caregiver for an elderly uh, relative whether it's a parent or a grandparent or it takes just as much energy if not more to care for their needs because when you're caring for someone who like I am who's in their 90s unfortunately you run into those issues of mind thinking rationalization that just isn't there anymore and it's so hard it's them giving up independence and um, adjusting to this phase in their life and trying to make sense out of what's going on and their mind says they want to do this they can do this their body just is totally shut down no you cannot so I find myself in a situation where I feel like I have two toddlers at home that I'm chasing around because it's constant. 
And so what I'm leading up to, oh, this is my Tom Ford. This is a cream um, uh, eyeshadow and I've showed it before. I'll list everything below. Guys, I don't have my glasses on, so I just can't even see what the name of this is. But I like this. It has a little pinky nudie kind of look to it, but it really does give my lids a nice even color and I like it. And any shadow I put on over it, makes it nice. Now I'm just, you know, like I said, normally just to run out to the post office and do a few errands, I wouldn't be doing all of this, but I wanted to do just to get ready and just share it with you. So there's that. And next I am, oh, I'm pretty satisfied with the foundation. I'm not gonna build it up anymore. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Oh, and that's it for my eyebrows. Now, if I wanted to, I could put on a little bit of powder, but I don't want to. This is fine. Like I said, they're a little bit darker than normal, but uh, I'm going to follow up with my Anastasia brow um, gel. I do love this stuff. I think it's super nice. It al allows those uh, hairs to just stand up and stay in place. Um, and the reason I say I like the hourglass pencil a little bit better is because I can do a little more defined stroking and it just gives me a more natural look. I just, you know, but both pencils are nice and it just depends on what you prefer as far as color and, you know, um, how it adapts to your skin. But I've just switched over to the hourglass and really like it. Um, so chasing around my mom and I have, you know, pretty much trying to keep her structured as far as her meals, her medicines and afternoons are horrible for her. She does what's, you know, clinically called sundowning and they become restless. And yes, there's medications that they can have to give them, but I try not to because even though she's in this phase of hospice, she is still movable to a point. It's just a very slow decline. And I don't want to do anything that would enhance a fall. But um, sometimes it's just really difficult because she doesn't know what she wants and she gets agitated and it gets frustrating for me because I'm tired. It is the end of the day. I've been going, going. and mm, This coffee is so Oh, I love when I enjoy a cup of coffee. Whoa, man, I gotta hurry up because this video, as all of them, are gonna be long. So, in my off time, what I try to do is, um, I'm really trying to work on my daily planning better um, because I feel like it helps keep me not so scatterbrained and my reading. And right now I'm not reading anything too uh, heavy duty. I'm doing just like pleasure reading, which really relieves my mind. Oh, sorry guys, that was my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And this is what I use after I've tried to hide and cover some of the bags and the dark circles. This just kind of brightens up my under eye. Um, you know, there's so many on the market. I've tried so many and this is my favorite. And what I do is I kind of just concentrate in this area. You saw I just sort of made a little triangle. And then I just kind of take it down to the sides just to keep it light. So real quick, I'm just going to tell you what I've been doing with this. I've been reading and right now I'm on my second book um, by Jennifer Scott. And this is called um, At Home with Madam Sheik. It's really good. Great tips. Good inspiration. Love it. And, of course, I'm reading the series of Laura um, Engel Wilder, um, Little House on the Prairie. And right now I'm reading On the Banks of Plum Creek. I think this is my third the fourth book that I've read. Third in the series. And then I've read another one uh, written by her, uh, Laura Engels, as a... Um, author when she was older so this really just helps ease my mind and um, it's just so fun to read now because I've watched the series um, every one every show probably you know 
10 times. So it's kind of fun to read the book and then you get these little flashbacks and you sort of really get a great idea of what things were like then. So I do pleasure reading because it just really, really helps. Um, today I'm going to use Tom Ford, my favorite. I know I should do something different, but I just don't feel like it. Um, and so I washed all my brushes, so I'm putting them here. I'm going to start out by patting uh, this white neutral color just all over my lids. Um, and I've been reorganizing some of my um, kitchen cabinets. I redid my spice drawer and my spice shelf. I have um, a couple of, of those round Lazy Susans in my cabinet and um, I just found that different sizes and shapes and containers of buying herbs was just driving me crazy because they were stacked on top of each other. They wouldn't stay. When I'd spin it, it would interfere with turning and I was just like, okay, I've got to do something different. So I took everything. They did a good cleaning anyways. So I took everything out. I'm going in with this all over the bottom lid. And uh, cleaned everything. And I decided I was going to buy some jars. And I was going to go ahead and label the jars and stack them on top of each other. And I used two different varieties of jars. Um, little canning uh, like jelly jars that were stackable on top of each other on one Lazy Susan and then the big tall ones for the spices that I use routinely and regularly and normally will buy online a little bit uh, bigger bulk size. Now that that sip of coffee is down, this is part of the technique that I think is the most important and that is to just blend in the colors that you've applied on your eyelids. I spend a lot of time blending because I think it really gives you a nice soft look. Now I'm going to take this color here and I'm just going to lightly go over. Actually I'm going to mix the two together on the outer corner here. Even applying additional color still takes time to just blend. It just softens the look. And I like to clean the corners of my eye with a Q-tip for any fall, fallout that may have occurred with the shadows. Blend, blend. Okay guys, so that is just the eye makeup for today. And then I am going to use my Urban Decay 24-7. This is my black um, water liner. And I just go from the corner to the middle a little bit. I just think this opens up your eyes. Uh-huh. And then I am going to, my face feels nice, smooth, and dry. And I'm just going to lightly powder it. And I'm going to use my Wander. This is a powder foundation. But I'm really just going to go into this problematic oily area. Take my powder brush and just rub it in. Mm -hmm. That's great. And then I think I'm going to use um, Risk. <clears throat> it's real pretty. It's very light and I'm just kind of in that sort of mood for light. And I'm just brushing up little strokes. I love these tart blushes. I mean, they seem so like they last and last and they do have great pigment on them and I mean they're really nice and then I am going to now I'm doing a little bit more than I normally do Tom Ford I like this stuff it's very light and it is buildable 
And sometimes what I've been doing too, just up here at the hairline, just to add a little more color, um, which I will get this back out because I want to show ya. Show ya. Um, I've been sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do take the blush I've used and I just run it over my eyelid just to bring that little bit of balanced color from here to here. That's it. I think I'm going to put some lashes on, guys, and I'll share that with you. And please, for those of you, if there's anybody watching who's, you know, the makeup police, I am not. I don't do this professionally. I do this for me. And it's just my thing of um, uh, liking to wear makeup. I like the way I feel. I, I just have always loved makeup. And I'll share a cute little story with you. Um, so I've got this duo, I think it's called um, Lash Glue. And I just kind of uh, put it on a little too thick there. But it dries um, clear. But just kind of let it sit for a minute and um, get tacky. And then I am going to curl my lashes first. But I listened to a uh, story um, that a YouTuber was talking about. She is a makeup artist and professional. And she was saying how her grandmother was her biggest inspiration um, about you know, because she said, my grandmother always wore makeup, did her hair, always fixed herself up, always had jewelry on, and she was just such a wonderful, kind-hearted, blah, blah person, and she said she was my biggest inspiration, and so I was thinking, because this particular girl is just really gorgeous, she's a beautiful girl, and uh, she's from Brazil, and um I thought, wow, I wonder what her grandma looks like. Probably all glam and, you know. And here she was, this ordinary, grandmotherly-looking woman with just, you know, kind of old-fashioned-ish hair like you would think of a grandma. Um, and just very ordinary. But her granddaughter said she was just the most, you know, put-together um, and kind-hearted, spirited woman, and she was such an influence on her. And when she was coming over to the States to get her visa, um, once they had their visa and she was coming over here to the States, she had to get her picture taken. And she said, I remember this. I was six years old, and I wanted to wear red lipstick because I guess her grandmother, you know, had red lipstick or whatever. And, you know, they were like, no, she's got to get her picture taken. She can't wear lipstick, you know. And her grandmother's like, oh, come on what's the problem let her have some joy and happiness she's six years old so she posted the picture of her passport and there she is with her red lipstick on and her red lips and I thought that was so sweet and so wonderful that she pays that awesome tribute to her grandmother who was such an inspiration in her life and even though her grandma's not with her now she just said you know oh it's really still tacky she said she just you know feels that her success in what she does in her business now really um she can attribute that to her grandma okay guys so what i'm doing is i am messing with these they go on pretty easily but i do think i should have and i'm trying to man maneuver it with my finger i am going to recurl them with my own lashes uh, just to give them a little lift so that was kind of painless then it reminded me of a little story with my granddaughter 
she I have a little vanity area set up for her on a stool and um, so when I'm getting ready or getting dressed and she has spent the night with me and um, let me just mess with this for a second Ooh. Yeah. Um, she wants to come in and play with her little you know play makeup and all that and then she likes to play with my little uh, samples of perfume that I have in a little vase and she'll go what should I wear today? Well, she sprays it. And I mean, whoo, douses it on. And you can smell her from a mile away. And it was so cute because the other day, I need to take one home for my mommy because she will really love this. I said, okay. And then, of course, she goes, she comes up to me and she goes, so Noni, how do I smell? And she lifts up her little neck and I said, oh my goodness, you smell just like heaven. I think this is what heaven smells like. And um, she just had this proud little look on her face. And I said, but I got to share a little secret with you. She goes, okay. I said, what's really important is when a beautiful girl like you enters a room you want to enter the room first and you want your perfume to follow you. You don't want the perfume and the scent to go first because it might be too strong and people are wondering, oh, who's got that on? You want to walk in and you want to have a presence of, oh, here I am. It's me. And then someone say, wow, what's that wonderful scent? It smells like heaven because my daughter-in-law then called me and said um, when she was getting her ready for school, she said she came back out of her room after she was dressed and she said, I said, what on earth did you spray on? And she goes, it's my perfume. And my noni says, I smell like heaven. So my daughter-in-law calls me and goes, yeah, I don't know what heaven you're going to, but whoa, she put on some strut. I know, but don't hurt her feelings. She just feels like it's so important for her to do that. And just, you know, I always tell her, you're so beautiful. Anyways, you don't need all this stuff, but what's mo mostly important is that you have a beautiful heart and she just kind of looks at me like yeah while you're sitting there playing with all this makeup um but it's cute I just think it does enhance your eyes a little bit and I am gonna put mascara on just a little bit just to blend in the lashes that are mine and the fake lashes yep so I just thought that was kind of cute and I said oh well I said you know then it just I just thought it was so cute because it reminded me of when I was listening to this YouTuber talk about her success in her um, private life, life and how she found and gained that inspiration from her grandmother. And even at six years old, her grandmother wanted to recognize what was important to her granddaughter and wanted her to feel good or confident. And so she said, listen, She's getting a picture taken. What can a little bit of red lips do? And I'm sure she had help putting on her lipstick so that it didn't look childish. I just thought that was a very endearing story and I loved it. Because, you know, I grew up being told all the time, you're not old enough, you're not old enough. You don't need that. You don't need that. You're not old enough. You know, you're growing and you're getting bigger and you're uh, 
avenues are expanding. You just want someone to be able to say yes and there's a proper way and there's a time that you can wear this or maybe you can start out with a little bit of clear gloss and you know I just think it's all important. So hey that's kind of it and my last best most favorite thing that I do is put on this Chanel which I don't even know if I can find this one anymore because it's I love it. I'm going to do my hair and I will be right back. Boom! Done. Oh, wish that could happen like that all the time. Um, I didn't show a video doing my hair because I have uh, recently just posted a video uh, showing you that and I'll just sh share with you um, how I finished. I've got the Alisa Eldridge Velvet Morning lipstick on. It's kind of that combination of coral red. Really pretty to kind of move us into the fall season and I think it goes really well with the blush. But I do think they open the eyes up and um, they look pretty natural. Not that I need to do this just to go to the post office and run up to uh, the local uh, drugstore, but Nonetheless, I finished it off with a pair of my uh, silver heart earrings and my little Tiffany necklace with, um, I just have this black top on, um, a short sleeve V-neck and my white um, kind of cream colored drawstring um, Old Navy baggy pants linen oh so comfortable so comfortable and now I wish I would have bought uh, a black pair but they're pretty much all sold out but maybe next year they're super comfortable lightweight wash well you know great get great price and I just bought one because they're baggy legs and I thought oh I don't know if I'm gonna like that because I wear you know like the slim or skinny legged pants all the time and uh, love them love them they're great so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I know it's kind of long but it's just to catch up and get ready um, I'll list the book series that I'm reading below and also a look for my upcoming uh, video um, on my organizing um, the little things that I've done around um, the house to make some changes and also um, my fall decor video it's not really early by the time you see it it's already gonna be like old news because that's how slow I am at getting everything edited and posting and just busy so until my next video be kind be humble age gracefully and stay safe bye